stuck. I need to mow the grass. Whoa, look at that. That was fantastic. Whoa. <laughs>Bloody crap. Tell you what though. Why don't you use this one instead? Oh you got a one too. Oh 
Oh, are you worried, Ron? Yeah, didn't talk to me. What's going on? They all look the same. They all look the same. What's going on there? And after you spend so much time customising that too. Yeah. <laughs> the walk of shame. What happened, Ron? <laughs> it did what it did the first time. It just all of a sudden spiraled into the ground. I think it was lack of thumb. Did it go into fail safe? <laughs> Were you standing too close to him? <laughs> no, he's got a hobby king, has he? ain't got no fail safe. <laughs> <laughs> Went into ground mode. <laughs> into, return to ground, that's it. Return yeah. to ground. RTG. <laughs> There he goes, it was very close to the vents. I don't know what he was thinking. I can hear Luke. Where's Luke? There he goes. And this fashionable Tokra fluorescent green. This town has two colours. This town uniform, fluorescent green and fluorescent orange. Go Luke, go mate, just gun it, just nail it mate. Thrash it. Punch it mate. Hey, go, go. Is that one swung around to the south a bit? Yeah, it's a little bit of crossing there. Yeah. What's Gordon doing? Did he throw it again? Oh, yeah, there we go, he reverses. Reverse always got to back up. Backwards take back off, yeah. I mean, uh, what is it, backtracking 3 1? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Luke, don't keep us in suspense, mate. Want to see one of those? Oh, yes! That's it. It's a half roll on taxi? Yeah. Has a bit of trouble with the roll near the ground, eh? Oh, look at that. That's just beautiful. Oh, look, the old uh, the bonsai's back in the air. The old fella's throwing it back in the air. Let's see if it'll do that thing again that it did last time. Where is it? It's lost. Yeah, there it is. It's easy to lose. There it is. Yeah, because he sometimes spirals it into the ground. Twice. Yeah. At least he hasn't broken the tail off it, right? Yeah, it's missing. Yeah, well, I think um, just needs new plugs. That'll fix that. Is he having trouble in the wind? He turned it into a long way. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to have to get a manual focus with all this action here. Where's he going now? Where's he going? And he just, it's stalled, that's what happened. Yeah. They will drop a wing because they are a wing. Yeah, I know. Come on, oh, there was a touch and go, mate. Where's the touch and go? Where's he going? So what's he doing now? Is he going to fly it again? He's just walking along. Does he need another wheat bricks? only had 66% that went into Oh, maybe some of it fell out. Mm. Come on, sprint, Gordon. Put some effort into it, mate. What's happened to the wing? Buried, buried into the fence. Oh, into the fence. Right into there and Where? took a big chunk out of here. Oh, no. And, oh. oh, yeah, that's okay. I tried to fly it like that, it was too hard to fly. Oh, what's wrong with it? <laughs> Oh, it's just got needs a bit of um, rhinoplasty. That's no, all good, mate. Why did you fly into the fence? Was there a reason for that? I just, just did. You design that one like that? Yeah. yeah, it's what you call a, uh, a variable camber section. Yeah, look, you know, you can go up yeah. and down with this one, you see, so you don't need the rudder at the back. Yeah, yeah. It's, the, it's the Concorde. Once it goes supersonic, that nose folds up. This oh, thing yeah. has had yeah. such a hiding, time to throw it away. It's hard on his gear, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. Very hard on his gear. got another one at home. Yeah, you good. Fix that. Here we go. Probably don't get to see much out of my hat cam. Here we go. Moral of the story is don't let someone stand between you and the model when you're going a long way away and quite low. I didn't realise Ron was standing right next to me so he was actually blocking the signal from my transmitter to the quad. And so even though I've flown much further than this in the past, on this occasion, um, we just ran out of range. The signal got too weak and that was the end of it. Somewhere down here there is a mini quad lying on the ground. I did not run it over. 
park off the runway and then go and have a look. Oh, telemetry's been recovered, so I can't be too far away, can I? But my RSSI is low. Let's go and find the quad. Here we go. Oh, I've got the ring going. I've got free sky telemetry, so it shouldn't be hard to track it down. Let's go to the right page. Here we go. I think we're a bit further over. It's like a bog here, it's a pain in the backside. So let's get some bearing here. Let's have a look at the here's the weakest piece of signal. There we go, over here somewhere is it? It's either over here or behind us. Oh, here it is, look, straight in front of us. Fantastic, this RSSI thing is just the best way to find your kit. I hope I can find the run cam. Because it's not sitting on the top anymore, is it? No. Here we go. Oh, yeah, there she is. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. How was that, eh? Fan bloody tastic. And the run cam's still going? Yep, run cam's still going. Beautiful. So that, children, is uh, <laughs> is how you uh, find your quad when it fails safe. And that is also why you make sure that there aren't people standing between you and the craft. Wonderful, let's turn that off, I'll unplug it first and then turn it off. Success, but oh, this is like a bog here. Hope the truck doesn't get stuck. <laughs> Another day at the flying field. Oh. Right. Unplug. Turn off, turn the run cam off. Oh, should have some HD footage of that. And now, yes, we're not stuck. Ooh, very close though. <laughs> not a lot of traction down here. Whoa, wheels are spinning. Hope I can get back to the, oh, bugger. We're very close to getting stuck. <laughs> this is pretty exciting. Whoa. <laughs> that was so close. This ground is a bog. I was just... We were doing wheel spins all through there. <laughs> I live on the edge today. <laughs> Look, he's, this thing Look he's, he's hammering it mate, he's, he's doing the aerobatics, well can't even keep up with him, he's doing the aerobatics. He must have upped the throws on the elevator I think, to get that inverted. Oh man it's too fast, I can't keep up with it anymore, it's just like super speed. Where's he going? Way downwind by the look of it, way way downwind. Lovely, wasn't it, Ron? That was beautiful, that was. Taxiing at speed. 
Very scale like takeoff, just like the full size one of those. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> A bit of turbulence out there, eh? Whoa, where are you going, Ron? Around again. Beautiful mate, right at his feet, look at that. No, no, the team machine helped me track it down, but it's so boggy down there man, I was like just moving really slowly and the wheels were spinning and I was thinking, is it gonna stop, is it gonna stop, is it gonna stop? It just made it back onto the tarmac. <laughs> no, I didn't park it on the tarmac in case plane coming. That's right, we had roadside rescue here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey Gordon, got your curling tongs mate, we might need you. <laughs> Good hairdresser man. And the go karts are back. All the excitement. Ron crashed my quad. <laughs> he was standing here flying, and I was standing here talking to him. And he's saying, "Look, you get a good range. You get a good range, eh? What's fast, eh?" <laughs> <laughs> because he was right between me and the quad, standing right next to me. <laughs>